Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome on my YouTube channel. So today we are looking at this. So this is my own design free flight glider. So today it's a tiny bit breezy. It's around five kilometers per hour of wind. Uh, so around three miles per hour for you uh, imperial guys. <laughs> so um, today I will first explain to you how oh, did I designed it and how oh, you can build one by yourself and uh, then we will fly it. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's check it out. So let's see how can you build this. It's really simple. It's one sheet of balsa. So a uh, sheet or plank doesn't matter. <laughs> I will call it one or the other uh, in this video. So a balsa wood plank uh, of four millimeters thickness. The cord is around uh, seven to eight centimeters, depend of what you want. If more floater, more uh, speed glider, depend of what you want to do. I recommend if you want to fly indoors to go wider for the cord. Um, the wingspan is 60 centimeters. So the theatrical, as you can tell, are 10 and 15 degrees. Okay, so both tied. And um, length is 50 centimeters. This part is flat 16 centimeters. The angle here is around 45 degrees and um, the fin is uh, 5 centimeters tall. Sorry about the wind. Uh, the, there is a tiny bit of wind right now. So, uh, the air, to send the airfoil down, what do I recommend? Is uh, to leave the plank flat first, do not cut anything, and just send the airfoil that you, you want to. So, me, I just did an airfoil, like, doesn't matter. So, just take the 30 35 uh, percent of the cord and then send it down. Just keep like two millimeters thickness at the trailing edge and then do a really, really nice leading edge. This is the most important, doing a nice leading edge. You have a lot of plans of doing a great leading edge. It's really important. Doing a good leading edge is really important too on the tails. The trailing edge a bit less, but still important as well. So the stiffness is quite good. Uh, so right now, just let do a uh, good edit. Uh, I used a three, minute, three millimeters carbon rod. It's not a tube, it's a rod. Uh, it's a solid rod, so it's a bit flexible, but it's still really enough stiff for the launch and a tiny bit of lead up front to balance it really well. So as well, uh, you will need to experience by yourself to set the CG correctly and to trim out the, um, the tails. Don't forget to balance your wing. As you can tell on mine, I put a tiny bit of lead right here. So you make a hole and then put your lead inside. It should sit really flush. Uh, so yeah, pay attention about that. And a uh, quick tip about the tips. So when you sand it, uh, you just have a, this square, this square uh, shape and make one tip. So cut it with an exacto knife to have the perfect shape. Don't do multiple cut, cuts. Um, and then take this shape and report it on the other side and you have the exactly same shape on both sides. It's really, really important to have the flight. And then to make it circle, you will use this rudder. So I use a Y-shaped tail uh, because I found it more efficient for this style of glider. You can, tie, you can try with a cross style uh, tail, but I prefer this one because it's lighter and more efficient. So yeah, in a stalking, let's go fly it.
that's it for today's video. Thank you a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.